do you why do you come to the fellowship? Supporting each other, valuing each other, um, that sharing with other people of the of the important things in life. I come here to get in touch with some values that are not um, usually not part of the general culture, uh, and to uh, interact with people who share those values. I'm inspired on Sunday mornings um, with our minister's uh, sermons. I started coming because of the kids and I continue coming even though it's not mine anymore but for the others it's still a big piece for me. Whatever topic your sermon is, I think you're talking to me. Is there something that's changing that sort of has you uh, excited or thinking, oh, wow, we're, we're carving a new future? I've enjoyed the uh, Soul Matters. Think more about Black Lives Matter. And uh, although it's taken a little bit more time uh, reading books, um, that is really important to me, that we're, we're moving w ahead with something that is important. What I've enjoyed about Soul Matters is that it's a chance to do something that's different but complement, complementary to the church services. I've walked out of every one of those meetings with some insights that I couldn't get from a church service. I get to go to Soul Matters. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's just jaw-dropping to me. I'm like, wow, what a story. <laughs> I'm like, what an interesting perspective. What a, you know, how, uh, how much richer our lives are. Well, I think having, for me, in our group, there's all different ages. So you're mm -hmm. hearing issues that young families are dealing with. I'm not dealing with anymore, but to hear how they're working all that out. What compels you to volunteer? I think one of the big things is that it's an opportunity to make a difference. I was here from the beginning. I was very aware of everything that needed to be done, and that's the difference. Uh, I, I, this place has given so much to myself and to my family that to be able to give back is so important. You know, what do you envision? What are your hopes for, say, this fellowship in five years? I hope we're still growing mm -hmm. and in every way. If you think about yourself right now, if you think if I joined today and I didn't know all these people, how would you plug in? And it's a little challenging. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one thing I'm hoping this Smooth Sundays does is, is that it integrates, you know, uh, long-term members and short, you know, people who've been here for a short time. You know, that's a way of starting to get involved. And so when I get excited about things, it's looking for ways to people to be engaged at all different levels. Yeah, I think the Smooth Sundays is very exciting for that reason. As people come in, families then can work together and, mm -hmm. and then other people can understand how this, how this functions and, and be part of it. So I think that's very exciting too. I have never been to uh, a church or a fellowship that gives so much in outreach. I mean, so much of its annual budget it's it's phenomenal the impact that this fellowship has. Like I don't I we maybe we need to tout it in some ways because it's it's really impressive. Well, one thing I like about the community, our community giving uh, as a community is that we are all much more aware of the the need in the community because we have people come in and speak about it. And uh, I also think that it's pretty amazing that we have yoga, we have Tai Chi, um, Perry, uh, the Renewable Energy people meet here. There's like all kinds of things going on that people aren't always aware of that are happening in our facility, which um, is one thing that was intended when this facility was built. Um, it, stewardship really shouldn't be focused on financial matters. It should really come from the heart and your feelings toward the fellowship, to give a thoughtful pledge. And that's different for everybody.